I'll just tell them to break everything in the back. Just like smash all the guitars? Smash everything. Yo, it's so ill. Bam! Just, yeah, that would be sick. Just do like an elbow drop on the piano. That's it. Yeah, just take it out. That would be, that would be sick. You need a lot of money for that, though. Seriously. Oh, man. What's you up? Just, all you got to do is win Capcom Cup, bro. You get the million. You, if you just win Evo, win the milli, then you can smash as many instruments as you want. No shot. <laughs> you don't think so? I right, bro, <laughs> I'm going to be online watching at Bodega Ken. Imagine. Your Capcom Cup champion. Just that's going to be me. I believe in I believe in what you said, JJ. Yo, but man, look at the Asian don't raise. No, no, the Asian don't raise it. Yeah. Shout out to James Chen. He put me on to that, uh, to that term a while back. He's still young. Yeah, how does Tokido look so good? Did somebody fall? Oh, my God. I was scared okay. for you. Yeah, I was like, what happened to the camera? <laughs> Did a barrel roll? He was like, it's time. My ultimate move. Barrel rolls with a big camera, imagine, mm -hmm. to the front. I got it. Because the, that's the, how you get the best angle of Tokido. Frank, bust out the tape measure, do a barrel roll. I got it. Man. Mm. Right, now let me stop. Hope that didn't bother y'all. No, I think they love it. I think the more you vibe, the better the commentary is. I am, is. I am a, a firm believer of that, actually. That's what happened yesterday. Yeah, we were having a great time up here. Making noises. Oh, man, they didn't tell us about that. <laughs> Was the crowd doing yeah? Yeah. Yeah. No, I can't hate. Here we go. JP versus Ken. Saw this match. He just played it against Angry Bird, right? And I think his answer looks really, really clean. The difference, I think, is Tokido, you know, he doesn't play quite as aggro as Angry Bird, right? He's not as aggressive as a player generally, I think. I'll tell you this. He looks a little faster walking on the left, right, left, right. Tim. I don't know, where we, I know, yeah. you know what I'm talking about. I'm right there with you. A button for every occasion. Ooh, aggressive already with the igloo bunch trying to score that punish counter for the big damage. Mm, did you see that little walk-in block from Tokido there? Wow, perfect parry on the fireball. Punish with the crushing medium kick. Mm, yep, that's that range of the fireball. Use it as a poke. I love it. Yeah. Now, like I said uh, yesterday when we seen Tokido's matches, I was like, Tokido's more of a freestyle can, even though I feel like he has all the right setups. Yeah. But like, he'll do like a sure you can have to like Jin Ryu kick. It could be like a medium punch or a fierce. He's just going to go for roll overhead. Oh, but, yeah. but again, there's a lot of visual cues where you can get a medium overhead. Yeah, he just picked this character up, right? He was playing Luke in the very beginning of the game, tried Modern, tried Classic, and then went over to Ken immediately. Oh, I like it. He tried to drive rush into the Dragon Lash. Pick up there, Cockadoo. Nice spot here. Oh, it's going to hit. Yeah, and he gets the pick up, the awareness to block the cross up. And then Nil's like, oh, the portal's going to hit him. Cool, I'll get a combo. Yeah. That was a big, he banked hard on, on, the, on the top. So he probably thought it was going to hit naturally, right? Right. Good defense there, Cockadoo. These guys are both uh, typing papers. They're writing their papers. Yeah. Oh, big jump right over. Tokido, ah, yeah, faked them out. Caught that parry bait. Nicely done. All right, gets a little pick up on that. Takes a bit of the drive to gauge from Tokido as well. Uh-huh, back to the schmuck meta. Uh -huh. Now man got a full screen overhead. Wow. You know, I've seen it before, bro. I never thought I would have seen it in Street Fighter. Yeah. Really I played a lot of NRS games, and I was like, oh, I'm right at home, huh? Time to die. Oh, was it in range for the standing short, for sure. Counter hit, medium kick. It does work out that way, but you got to be closer. Man, and Kakadu is holding the space so well. Look, he's not getting walked back. In fact, he's walking Tokido down, even though he's supposed to be the zoner, right? Mm -mm. He said Dia. He's saying aunt in Spanish when he kicks you in the ankle. Dia? Dia. He's like, Dia. Oh, spin that cash. I love this. The Texas Tornado. Oh. How you get ducked in the stomach, then the chest, then the chin? That's crazy. Unnecessary. A little three-piece all the way up. Yep. That, he is one of the coolest level threes, I think. Yeah, I love seeing it. Oh, the fake. We're trying to bait out the drive, Perry. Yeah, looking for it. Doesn't find it. Nice stuff. Oh, he missed. He tried, I think it was supposed to be crouching heavy, and he got down, down heavy. The spike instead. Mm. Ooh. Mm -mm. Nice. That's a setup. Up. Yeah, his light confirms are really scary too. You can just check, 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 check all day. Looks low that time. Tokido strings him up. I like it. That's good. Yeah, I get the burnout. Oh, this is going to be tough. Are we in there? Yeah, don't give him too much space. I like that dash and wise choice from Tokido. Yeah, even though he's burnt out, he can still fight, right? So you got to cover the distance. Tokido doesn't have any super meter, so yep. right, he has one. Correct. Damn. The breakdown. Oh, you're holding up. All right, you're holding forward. Sneaking in the overhead. Watch the ankles. Nice air throw. We was just highlighting that. Yeah, you called that out earlier. Level two. Is there a parry from Tokido? There is a parry jump. I like that. Didn't take much damage at all for that level two. Oh, that was cheeky. I like it a lot. Kakadu sneaking in the driving pack. Oh, and he's going to do it back, but he's dead. The 
the reaction, the natural reaction, you're like, oh, drive impact, I've got to drive impact back, and you just don't have the life. Yeah, see, so certain instances, uh, if you know you're low on uh, the drive gauge, you just, instead of drive impact, you just go for the parry. You'll build it up, and if you have an option, as it builds up, you can drive reversal in the midst of the uh, animation of the drive parry. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, perfect on that. Take the corner carry, double jab. No, just the one. Yeah, you want to save the bar. I see him. Yeah, yeah. Oh! He said too easy! Mm -hmm. A little pickup on the wall, Chenrai. Good what? positioning too. Yeah, he is. He's keeping it tight, right? He doesn't want to deal with the uh, the counter, right? So he's not going for as much throw. Mm, good check on the shimmy attempt. Kakadu. Just trying to buy some time. Oh, the, the tumbleweed, the barrel wool. I said barrel wool. <laughs> barrel. Roll. I'll take it. Not enough, but drive gauge getting a little low for Tokido as well. Oh, I like that delay. Yeah, force the burnout right into the drive impact, and he has a super right there. He's gonna take all the damage. Sweep for the timing. Pierce for the kill. Very nicely done. It looked like a light starter too, wasn't it, huh? Yeah. Big yeah. damage. Sheesh. Burnout. Makes sense. All right, we're thinking about it. Tokido's having a bit of a tough time, man. He has the right idea, but he's just not quite finishing the job. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, I like the up back. Hakadu has been doing that a lot. Block up back. Try to get out of there. He's been trying to jump away. Nice. Anti just far anti on that. Really good spacing. From the space, exactly. Oh, we're in trouble. Our drive gauge is suffering. Tokido's going to have to do something to get out the corner. EX top through. He's just going to push himself out. Man. Sounds nice. like a bull whip. Yeah. Just cracks him. And right after that, you're going to be burnt out, too. So this is a really bad spot. I don't know what Sophie said. Well, oh, well. <laughs> well hold that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sucks. And he just pulls up on you. He really did say well like that. Well. <laughs> well, <laughs> good game. <laughs> GG's. You're dead. Well. Ooh. You know what I love about Tokido's competitive spirit, man? That this dude, like, he'll put a smile on his face like, man, that was good. I got something for you. Oh, yeah. He definitely is a true competitor. He's not going to be up here like, oh, man, you got me. He's just, he's fighting for it, right? Trying to fight for every inch. <laughs> oh, eyes on the prize. Indeed, Ken. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Category five. And another throw. Way more throw in his offense this time. Oh, the perfect parry he knew. Into the corner. Bad time now. Jump over. Spike still on the screen. So he defends behind. He just backdashes to use that as a little bit of a shield. Mm -hmm. Okay, standing out of the range of that spike. Okay. Real successful landing. A lot of throws on drive attempts. Parry attempts. Excuse me. Nice way to switch sides. Missed the combo, though. That's a Twitter combo. I believe. Yeah. He tried to hit him with the fadeaway at the end. I like the idea. Double drive rush. Pick up there for Kakadu. They're both a little low on drive gauge. Oh, and the spike did the work for him. He didn't have to do anything like a real bad guy, but the drop. Oh, stay out of range. I, he went for the challenge. I figured Kakadu would back up just to heal up a little bit. Drive, parry a bit, but no, wanted to stay there, challenge, look for that whip punish. I was going to say, I'm, I, you know, that situation too is such a checkmate. He's in burnout. I thought it's either going to be level one super or he's going to get chipped, right? So, pretty rough spot. Yeah, true, true. I concur. Mm, anti air. He spaced it out last time pretty good, but good challenge for Takedo. Yeah, I like that he didn't empty jump this time, because if he empty jumped, he probably just would have got smoked. Into the corner early, Tokido here. Stuffed again, yeah, he knows. Kakadu not letting him get away with it. Anti-air looks clean. Every single time. Ooh, he tried to parry the follow-up on the Jinrai. Very common response. You block the Jinrai, then you try to perfect parry the low. Yo, I love when it gets sent to the corner. It's like, are you going to jump, or are you really going to push yourself out the natural way? Yeah. Oh, yeah, speaking of which, you're over here. Let me talk to you for a second. Level three, I would have done the same thing. Oh, yeah. Um, it, it does so much damage, also the drive gauge gets beat up. And Tokido, he wants him to spend the level three back, right? If you lose this round, but he spends, that's fine. Oh, no. It's time to take the oppression a little bit. Gonna have to make some executive decisions. Random amnesia and five strings. Let me see. No, we're pushing ourselves out. Oh, good punish. Give me some that. Give me some love. Oh, man. Tokido could have had to hit the kill there. He just didn't want to drive rush again, and he lets it rip. The drive impact, same thing in the first game there. If Kakadu wasn't ready with the super, he had to parry or something like that. Otherwise, he would have died if he DI'd back. <laughs> you know, I know a lot of people hate Ken in this, in, in this building. Uh huh. Everybody <laughs> knows that that drive impact is coming. It's just when. Yeah. And he just goes foolish and he smokes you and you're like, dude, how was I supposed to know? A two and one. Mm -hmm. two. Spinal. Yeah. <laughs> It's a 26 frame mid. That's what they call it, you know? 26 frame mid. Just hit the buttons back. Kakadu, Kakadu smiling, like, oh yeah, I should have reacted. Yeah, you got me. Imagine that drive impact for the million or for the Evo Championship, right? Like, that could be the difference maker right there. Yeah, sleep before 8 o'clock. Yes.
Most definitely. I'm not trying to play this game tired. Like the uses of the Jinrai kicks from Tokido, using the, me the medium kick on main one to frame trap you try to press a button between you need a reversal. Yeah, exactly. And then he could just use the low or no follow-up, right? Maybe catch you trying to parry, waste that drive gauge, get a throw. Got it. We're spacing out. You can walk down, Tokido getting a little bit dangerous, but it's like one of those situations where, okay, I'll yield. I have no choice. Yeah. Let me find that opening off of this offense. Oh! That's what happens. One drive rush, you're a little late. Man, his perfect parry. Been doing it so consistently. And Cockney's been doing a good job fighting in this middle of the screen. I feel like he's been winning this a lot, and then Tokido opens up with drive rush, dragon lash, jump, something like that, and he makes his way in. Really, the important tools in this matchup caught the jump there with the Pierce. And now walking him down. Not a combo, but good damage on that. Ooh, jumps away. Mm. Nice stuff. He could have drive rushed one more time to get the kill, but now Tokido with a chance. Damn, kick the shins on the way in. Check the shoes. Never has creases. I can't believe that. I like that idea. Oh, one of the first ones we've seen, actually. I kind of like the idea. Baits the throw. Doesn't get the pickup, but it's a good idea from Karkadu. I like it. Oh, yeah. That's what I like to see. You got to make sure that his defense is correct. I like it. Tokido hammering away with that heavy punch. Doesn't find it. This is going to be burnout here for Tokido. Or very close to the level three. I agree. That's a burnout, right? Or a big one? No, that should be a burnout. Let's see. Oh, uh, close. Now we're going to have to think about it. Look, trying to avoid it by any means necessary, but didn't make contact with the drive parry. Very unfortunate. Oh, now this spot is so bad. As you mentioned, this is the win condition for JP, right? He wants you in burnout so that he can do this kind of stuff. Oh, but Tokido finds his way in. He's got full meter. Critical oh, available. Oh, he did huh? it. He let it rip. And Kakadu says, I saw the match with Shudo yesterday. I saw how you robbed Shudo to make it here in the first place. I will not let it happen. Well, to be fair, I think Tokido should have sniped a little more in terms of collecting data, because uh, about 9 out of 10 times playing Angry Bird, he blocked that overhead, right? Right. And, you, you know, you're right. Ken players let it rip. They just do it. Yeah, so confirm. I promise you, I'll never lie to you, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, he said, yeah, I did it. And I'd do it again. Thea, mm -hmm. my aunt. Man, he really does say that. My Thea, Thea. I hear it, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> I like more fireballs. It's something we didn't see as much in the Angry Bird match, right? So Kido, you know, he's played Shotos for a long time. Really heavy on the fireball game compared to some other Ken players. Nice little drive rush right under into the DP. Oh, that was godlike. That's how you know he's snappy, right? His reactions are on point. That was ridiculous. Got an OK too, but good defense though from Kakadu. Yeah. He's been managed to fight this mid-range so well. It's a lot of crushing medium kicks, setting out the portals, baiting that. That's like the first time he's done it the whole set. Kakadu ready for it. That was a pretty sneaky way to do it, too. I can't even blame him. Yeah, and the parry right into the reversal. Not that common, so... Oh, man, he is doing such a good job. Yeah, he is beating him up here in the mid-range. Now he doesn't have drive gauge, so he can't even really parry, although he can parry now. So he does drive gauge coming back a little bit. At this point, I feel like... See, in those situations, I've seen a lot of players do it. If they know they're going to lose, at least just try to string them up as much as possible to build as much uh, the super yeah, CA exactly. bars. Mm -hmm. And that way, you know, you need to get your drive gauge back. You get some offense going, so... Set point here for Kakadu to eliminate Tokido, former EVER champion. See if he can keep up the pressure. Nice jab into the medium right after. Caught him hitting a button. Sets up the portal, and it's there, so he has to respect it. You see Tokido backing off. Good defense. And the crack under pressure. Mm, the whip crouching medium kick right into the crouching medium punch after. To caught Tokido flinching, trying to do something on the whip. Tokido smells blood. That drive gauge is low on Kakuru's side, so he's trying to look for it. He's trying to move in there and make something happen. Kakuru don't want to win nothing. Straight solid, nothing. Yeah, he's, oh man, he is clean and neutral right now. He's not giving away anything for free, although the burnout's big now. Tokido has a chance if he can make it in. We'll have to see. Just because he's burnt out doesn't mean he doesn't have these great projectiles and buttons. Oh. He actually jumped. Did he see the drive game thinking it was a fireball? Oh, what a confirm stop. That was beautiful. He's going to do mad damage, and Tokido's in burnout. It's pretty close. Oh my god, this is tough. Look, and he's, and he's healthy on the drive gauge. This is gonna be tough. This might be over. Tokido, can you get in here and finish the job? No anti air. Oh, and we burned out! Do it for the low. The over oh, go for the over again! Oh, go for oh, the oh, We got another round! The critical art damage on this. Sit down and shut up! up. And look at Kakadu's face. Man, he is going through it here. That was his round. He knows it, and now it's the last round between these two. Tokido, you know he's feeling good. I cannot believe he run that back. You know, you got, and Kakadu had that face like he's running, he's running low on steam. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, now you got to guess, is it counter time or not? Trying to hold up, rips the drive back. Uh, uh, 
Where are you on that? Tokido with the pressure. Oh, it was too early. Lots of drops. Now Kakadu feeling it, but the stuff puts himself in burnout, but important to slow things down. Yo, I'm, yo, I'm, I'm forgetting I'm commentating. I'm so sorry, guys. This is too good. Uh, oh, good luck oh, with no And here's clean. Kakadu trying to slow things down. Tokido, he's got to try to close it out. Oh, That's so a bad idea. Close. Still plus. Light kick going in zero on block, too. Drive gauge back. Kakadu now, he can fight in the mid-range with the OD Ghost, and he brings one out. Tokido's got it. This is very close now. This is a very winnable round for Kakadu. And the level two in reaction, is that going to work? He parries and he gets the punish. He dashes in. Oh, the overhead reset, it's just combo. No! The Seraph, the level one, cleans it up, and he stays alive in the loser's bracket. Three to two, taking out Kakadu from the brink of the feet back to back. Oh my god, you know, I should have played more schmucks before I came over here, huh? Man, no, he's beating himself up. He was so close, but Tokido was ready. He was like, I should have known. You know, that situation he was probably not looking at the bar, right? Right, yeah. But such a smart choice from Tokido. He churned that butter, and everybody's on their feet for Tokido. This is a household name, 100% part of 